Welcome, brave souls, to the Truth Chronicles. Our journey through the pages of history, reality, and the realms beyond our understanding begins now. We are your guides, your storytellers, peeling back the layers of the known and the unknown, the seen and the unseen. Today, we delve into the life of an ordinary man who would go on to shape the landscape of horror literature. A man whose stories have kept us awake at night, whose characters have become our worst nightmares. A man who turned the ordinary into the extraordinary, the mundane into the macabre. This is the story of Stephen King, the master of horror. So, buckle up, brave souls, as we set forth on this journey into the heart of darkness. Remember, in the world of the Truth Chronicles, nothing is as it seems. Monsters are real, and ghosts are real too. They live inside us, and sometimes they win. These are the words of Stephen King, a man whose storytelling has sent chills down our spines and kept us up at night. On September 21st, 1947, in the quaint town of Portland, Maine, a master of horror was born. King's childhood was steeped in the ordinary, Yet, it was here amidst the mundane that the seeds of the extraordinary were sown. The discovery of his father's collection of horror novels, stashed away in a forgotten box, was a pivotal moment. These books, filled with tales of fear and the supernatural, ignited a spark within young Stephen. He found himself drawn to the allure of the macabre, a fascination that would shape his future writing career. Yes, it was here in the quiet town of Portland that a master of horror was born. From a young age, King was drawn to the macabre. The tendrils of horror literature began to wrap themselves around Stephen King during his formative years, with authors like H.P. Lovecraft and Shirley Jackson serving as his early guides into the shadowy depths of the genre. Their stories, brimming with suspense and the supernatural, sparked a fascination within King that would eventually become a significant part of his creative identity. His first forays into the world of writing were met with mixed results, but every rejection slip, every closed door, only fueled his determination. King was not just a budding author, he was a high school English teacher, threading the needle between his professional obligations and his growing literary aspirations. The classroom was his stage, his students, the audience to his first narratives. Despite the rejections, King continued to write, setting the foundation for his future successes. His journey was a testament to perseverance and passion, a prelude to a legacy that would transform the landscape of horror fiction. Every great writer has their first big break. For Stephen King, it was Carrie. In the early 70s, Stephen King, a high school teacher, was penning tales that would soon rock the world of horror. His initial endeavors into writing were met with rejection, but he kept pushing, holding on to his unique vision. Then came Carrie, a novel about a bullied high school girl with telekinetic powers. It was a raw, visceral exploration of adolescence, power and revenge, unlike anything seen before. The manuscript of Carrie was initially rejected, but with the support of his wife, King persevered. The novel was eventually published and readers were captivated. Carrie was a commercial success, resonating with audiences who were drawn to its dark themes and King's compelling storytelling. This breakthrough was the springboard for King's eminent career setting the stage for a prolific journey in horror literature. With the success of Carrie, the world was introduced to a unique new voice in horror. Once King's career took off, there was no stopping him. This period of King's life saw the birth of an overwhelming wave of creativity that would cement him as one of the most prolific writers of our time. As if possessed by an insatiable muse, King penned more than 60 novels and a multitude of short stories, each one a testament to his boundless imagination. King's works often delve into the lives of everyday people living in small towns, just like the one he grew up in. The characters that populate his novels are relatable, their struggles are our struggles and their fears are our fears. He has a knack for tapping into the common human experience, making his stories resonate with a wide range of readers. But what sets King apart is his unique ability to infuse the ordinary with the extraordinary. The supernatural is a recurring theme in his books, a tool he uses to amplify the everyday struggles of his characters and turn their fears into palpable, terrifying realities. Despite the diversity of his works, there's a common thread that weaves through all of them, the power of the human spirit in the face of unimaginable horrors. 
Whether it's a group of kids facing off against a shape-shifting entity in It, or a writer battling her own worst fears in Misery, King's characters are always fighting, always striving to overcome the darkness that surrounds them. King's mastery of horror doesn't just lie in his ability to scare, but in his deep understanding of what truly frightens us. He taps into our primal fears, the ones that lurk in the dark corners of our minds, and brings them to life on the page. And it's this understanding, this ability to hold a mirror up to our deepest fears that has made King a master of the horror genre. He doesn't just tell us a story, he takes us on a journey into the heart of our own fears and challenges us to face them. Stephen King's ability to tap into our deepest fears has made him a master of the horror genre. From The Shining to It, King's novels have left an indelible mark on the horror genre. Few authors have had the kind of influence that Stephen King has exerted over the world of literature and beyond. His stories have become a part of our collective consciousness, seeping into the fabric of pop culture in ways that are both profound and far-reaching. Let's delve into the creation and impact of some of his most iconic novels. King's The Shining is a chilling tale of a family's descent into madness in an isolated hotel during a harsh winter. It's a story that explores the darkness within us, and with its haunting imagery and psychological depth, it has become a classic in horror literature. Similarly, It is another masterpiece that has shaped our understanding of fear. This epic novel, which revolves around a group of children terrorized by a malevolent entity, explores themes of childhood trauma, friendship, and the power of belief. It's a story that has terrified generations of readers, imprinting itself on our cultural psyche. Then there's Pet Cemetery, a chilling exploration of grief and the lengths people might go to escape it. This novel, with its unsettling depiction of loss and desperation, has become a benchmark for horror storytelling. And who could forget Cujo, King's tale of a rabid St. Bernard. It's a tense, claustrophobic novel that transforms the mundane into the monstrous, proving that horror can lurk in the most ordinary of places. These novels aren't just stories, they become cultural touchstones, shaping our understanding of horror and influencing countless writers and filmmakers. They've been adapted into successful movies and TV shows, further cementing their place in our cultural landscape. Stephen King's works have transcended the confines of the page, spilling over into our daily lives. They become a part of our shared language, our collective nightmares, our communal fears. They've reshaped the horror genre, pushing its boundaries and expanding its scope. King's novels aren't just books, they're cultural phenomena. They're reminders of our shared humanity, our collective fears, and our enduring fascination with the unknown. They're testaments to the power of storytelling and the enduring appeal of the macabre. They're Stephen King at his best. Stephen King's influence extends far beyond the printed page. His macabre tales have not only haunted the minds of readers, but have also crept into the realm of film and television, shaping the landscape of horror in multimedia. The sheer number of adaptations of his works is a testament to his storytelling prowess. Take, for instance, the enduring classics like The Shawshank Redemption, a poignant tale of hope amidst despair or misery, a chilling story of obsession and captivity. Both were adapted into critically acclaimed films that are not only memorable, but have also etched their mark in cinematic history. King's works have also been translated into the format of television series. The haunting Castle Rock and the thrilling Under the Dome Tha are just a couple of examples that showcase the broad spectrum of King's narrative range. It's interesting to note that King's relationship with these adaptations has been a complex one. While he has often expressed his satisfaction with some adaptations, like Frank Darabont's The Shawshank Redemption, he has been openly critical of others, notably Stanley Kubrick's interpretation of The Shining. It's a vivid demonstration of the unique challenges and creative liberties involved in translating a written story to a visual medium. But it's not just the adaptations that have made a mark. King's collaborations with filmmakers have also been noteworthy, creating a synergy that has produced some truly iconic films. His work with Brian De Palma on Carrie, for instance, resulted in a film that's considered a classic in the horror genre. Ultimately, the transition of King's works from print to screen has expanded his reach, introducing his chilling narratives to a wider audience. Whether it's through the written word or the moving image, King's stories continue to push boundaries, challenging our perceptions of fear and the unknown. 
From the page to the screen, Stephen King's stories continue to captivate and terrify audiences around the world. From a childhood in Maine to becoming a household name, Stephen King's journey has been as extraordinary as his novels. We've journeyed through the early influences that shaped him, from the quiet corners of rural Maine to the chilling tales of H.P. Lovecraft and Shirley Jackson. We've seen his first steps into the world of writing, from the rejection of Carrie to its eventual triumph. We marveled at his prolific output, over 60 novels and countless short stories, all resonating with themes of small-town life, the supernatural and the struggle of ordinary people against extraordinary forces. We've delved into his iconic works and their enduring influence on literature, film and pop culture. And we've witnessed the transition of his stories from page to screen through numerous adaptations and collaborations with filmmakers. What a journey it's been through the life and works of a man who has truly left his mark on the horror genre. In the realm of horror, there is one true king and his name is Stephen King. What makes Stephen King the undisputed master of horror? Well, it all began in the year 1947 in the northeastern state of Maine. Born as the son of a merchant seaman who later abandoned the family, King's early years were marked by this profound loss. But in the face of adversity, a young King found solace in the attic of his home. It was there he discovered a box filled with horror and science fiction books, a treasure trove of chilling tales and otherworldly adventures. This was not just a box of books. Oh no, it was a portal to a world that would shape his destiny. King, with an insatiable curiosity, devoured the stories, allowing them to seep into his young, impressionable mind. These narratives, brimming with suspense, terror and intrigue, ignited a spark within him, a spark that would later burst into a flame of creativity. This early exposure to horror literature would shape King's future and revolutionize the genre. Behind King's success lies a haunting tale of personal struggles. Stephen King, the master of horror and suspense, fought his own battles off the page. Substance abuse, a spectre that loomed large in his life, played a significant role in shaping his literary universe. King's dance with addiction was a dark waltz that began in the early days of his career. The insidious tendrils of alcohol and drug misuse wrapped themselves around his life, threatening to snuff out the flame of his creativity. But King, ever the fighter, used this struggle as fuel for his stories. The themes of addiction and substance abuse, so prevalent in his life, found their way into his work. They emerged as monsters, haunting the characters in his stories, much like they haunted King himself. From Jack Torrance's alcoholism in The Shining to Eddie Dean's heroin addiction in the Dark Tower series, King's personal experiences breathed life into these characters, making their struggles palpable and real. But it wasn't just addiction that King explored. His work delved into the cavernous depths of trauma and the loss of innocence. He painted vivid images of characters grappling with their pasts, trying to make sense of their present. Childhood, often portrayed as a time of joy and innocence, was instead a stage for horror and terror in King's world. King's stories, tinged with the darkness of his own experiences, resonated with readers. They saw their own fears, their own struggles mirrored in his characters, they felt the raw, visceral power of his narratives, the undercurrent of truth that ran through them. This is the power of Stephen King. His ability to turn his personal battles into unforgettable narratives that shook the world. His struggles were not just his own, they became ours, they became the world's. And in doing so, he showed us that even in the darkest corners of our psyche, there is a story to be told, a fear to be faced. King's personal battles were not in vain, they birthed unforgettable narratives that shook the world. Stephen King didn't just write horror, he redefined it. His influence on the genre is undeniable, spanning decades and leaving an indelible mark on the literary world. King has a knack for weaving intricate narratives that delve into the deepest corners of human fear, anxiety and the unknown. His stories aren't just about monsters under the bed or killer clowns, they're about the monsters within us. And this is what truly sets him apart. King's brand of horror has evolved the genre, pushing boundaries and challenging conventions. He's a master of psychological horror, often blurring the line between reality and the supernatural, making the ordinary seem terrifying. 
His works, from Carrie to The Shining to It, have introduced a more nuanced, character-driven approach to horror, shifting the focus from mere scares to a deep exploration of the human psyche. But King's influence extends beyond his innovative narrative style. He's also played a crucial role in making horror literature more mainstream. His books, with their engaging plots and relatable characters, have drawn in readers who might not have otherwise ventured into the genre. King has demonstrated that horror can be more than just blood and gore. It can be a tool to explore complex themes and emotions, and this has helped elevate the genre's status in the literary world. Moreover, King's impact has inspired a new generation of writers, from Joe Hill to Paul Tremblay, who have followed in his footsteps, adopting his character-centric approach and deep exploration of human fears. His enduring popularity is a testament to his skill as a storyteller and his ability to tap into universal anxieties. King's influence on the horror genre is a testament to his understanding of the human condition. His stories aren't just about ghosts and ghouls, they're about the fears that reside in all of us and it's this understanding that has made his work both terrifying and deeply resonant. King's unique blend of horror and human experience continues to captivate readers, making him a timeless influence in the genre. His stories continue to terrify and thrill, proving that King's reign in the world of horror literature is far from over. Stephen King is more than a name, it's a brand that promises a chilling journey. The King brand is an intricate web of elements, each contributing to the overall experience of a Stephen King novel. The distinctive book covers are a key component, often featuring eerie imagery that sets the tone for the spine-tingling narratives within. These covers are as iconic as the stories they encapsulate, instantly recognizable and synonymous with the master of horror himself. But the King brand extends beyond just the man and his name. It also includes his pseudonym, Richard Buckman. King wrote several novels under this alias, providing him the freedom to explore different styles and themes outside the expectations of his established brand. The Buckman books, as they're often referred to, have a distinct flavor yet they retain the compelling storytelling that is a hallmark of King's work. The Stephen King Dollar Baby film program is another fascinating facet of the King brand. This initiative allows aspiring filmmakers to adapt one of King's short stories for a single dollar. It's a testament to King's commitment to nurturing new talent and his belief in the power of storytelling, regardless of the medium. The King brand, however, is not just about crafting engrossing horror narratives or supporting budding filmmakers. It's also about giving back to the community. King has made substantial charitable contributions over the years, including generous donations to libraries and scholarships for aspiring writers. These acts of philanthropy underscore King's deep-seated belief in the importance of education and the transformative power of literature. King's brand extends his influence beyond the realm of horror literature. It is a testament to his dedication to the craft of storytelling, his support for emerging talent, and his commitment to making a positive impact on the world. It's a brand that promises not just a chilling journey into the macabre, but also a commitment to the power of stories and the importance of giving back. King's brand is not just about thrilling tales, it's also about giving back to the community. Behind the spine-chilling tales is a family man with a heart for rock music and baseball. Stephen King's life outside his writing desk is as intriguing as the stories he pens. At the heart of his world is his family. His wife, Tabitha King, is an accomplished author in her own right, and together they've nurtured a home where creativity flourishes. Their children, Owen and Naomi, have also ventured into the literary world, carrying forward the King legacy. But King's interests extend beyond the written word. He's a fervent fan of baseball, often seen cheering for his beloved Boston Red Sox. And if you listen closely, you might just catch the echo of rock music. King is a self-proclaimed rock and roll fan, even playing in a band with other literary figures. King's life outside literature is as rich and varied as his novels, making him a truly fascinating character. As we look to the future, one question remains, what's next for Stephen King? Stephen King's prolific career shows no signs of slowing down. His unwavering ability to tap into our deepest fears and anxieties, coupled with his uncanny knack for storytelling, continues to captivate his readers. Even after more than half a century of writing, he remains an active force in literature, constantly evolving and pushing boundaries. The future holds endless possibilities for this master of horror. Perhaps we'll see him further explore the realms of science fiction, fantasy or crime. 
genres he's dabbled in before. Or maybe he'll continue to dig into the human psyche, unearthing new ways to terrify us through our own minds. One thing's for certain, King's brilliant storytelling will continue to resonate with readers. His ability to weave engrossing narratives and create relatable characters ensures his works are not just read, but experienced. Every new book transports us into a world that's terrifying yet strangely familiar, a testament to King's in-depth understanding of human nature and its inherent fears. The landscape of literature continues to change, with new voices emerging and technology reshaping the way we consume stories. Yet amidst all this, King remains a constant. His enduring popularity is proof of his timeless appeal, and his influence on future generations of writers is undeniable. Stephen King's future writing career might be a mystery, but if there's one thing we can count on, it's that he'll continue to push the boundaries of storytelling. He is someone who has never shied away from exploring the dark, the strange, and the unknown. As we turn the page to the next chapter in King's career, we can only anticipate what new tales of horror and suspense he has in store for us. Will he introduce us to new monsters lurking in the shadows or will he delve deeper into the monsters within us? Only time will tell, but one thing is certain. As long as there are dark corners and unspoken fears, Stephen King will be there, ready to craft another masterful story.